Hi, my name is Sharon Barak. I'm a chemical engineer. I used to work for a company that makes additive for plastic. Over there, I got to learn the damage we are creating by creating single use plastic products. Each year, we produce 400 million tons of plastic. Half of it goes to a single use product that we use. That means that we use it for a very short time and then we throw it away and then it stays in nature for hundreds of years. It creates enormous pollution problems. We, got, we have plastic islands in the ocean, animals are being killed, we have health problems, and we spend hundreds of billions of dollars to deal with those problems. We can see more and more regulation all over the world trying to deal with this problem. We started Solitude. We develop a unique raw material that looks and feels like the regular plastic you know, but the product, when you throw it away at the end, it will dissolve in water and then biodegrades. So the plastic products that now we will use, the plastic look like products that we will use won't harm the environment and we can still get the benefits of plastic. And this is how we're planning to get a cleaner world. Sharon, thank you so much for the work that you're doing with Saludum. It's, it, it could be a, a world-changing product. It's absolutely mind-blowing. And so first of all, thank you. The question I had is, the product is water-soluble, so what percentage of plastic bags in the world today are used for purposes uh, that are not for holding anything related to water? like you know, dried goods or anything else like that. And is your product today purchasable? Can someone go into a store and buy it? Uh, how do you get this marvelous invention out to the rest of the world? Uh, would love to hear your thoughts on that. Okay, uh, one by one. So the first question, which is actually my favorite one, because that will emphasize the truly unique uh, of what we're doing here. Uh, what we have developed is a unique mechanism. We develop a unique raw material uh, with a special matrix, which we can actually control the time the product dissolves in water. We gave it, uh, we it can be much more durable to water, giving it uh, properties that will allow it to come in contact with high humidity and even with, um, even with uh, uh, liquid. One of the questions that came to mind, and I have no idea why, is can you use this for chicken soup, for a soup spoon? <laughs> like, you know, yeah, is it toxic? Will it stand up to my grandmother's chicken soup? You know, th this, is, this is the burning question for me. Okay. Um, so it will be food contact. So it can come in contact with food. We already did some initial testing, so to make sure it doesn't migrate or leach in to the food itself. We are developing actually a product that contains, you know, the powder that usually are being sold. Definitely not as good as your um, mother's chicken soup, but you know, the, the immediate one that you're adding water. So those kinds of packaging are the first one that we are going, that we are developing and working on. How do you, how do you manufacture this? Uh, we are now scaling up the product. So we, there, this is being done in, a, in, a, in, in converters that are spe specialized in those kinds of products. However, I do want to emphasize that another thing about the, the material that we develop is the fact that it, can, it is adjustable to the existing production lines today, meaning you can take our raw material and just replace the known plastic raw material and it will work on the same um, production site. Obviously, this is an amazing product, and you keep referring to it as unique. Tell me why that somebody else can't make a similar product. How are you protecting the product, you know, and so that you can control the space? So, first of all, I, um, the environment is very close to my heart. This is the reason I started it. So, if other people want to find a solution, the market is very, very big. Um, only 5% of the market today is actually biodegradable product. Um, and the market is around $400 billion. So if, if other people want to find a solution, I'm more than happy to. What is unique and what, how we are protecting and what, what we are doing are in several ways. First, our um, provisional patent that we already applied. 
Um, second, we have a unique compound and a unique production way. You don't just need to know exactly how, what are the materials, you need to know how you're mixing the materials and in which stage what material will be comfortable compiled with which material. And uh, so this is something we developed in-house and this is how we're going to protect it. When it's going to be out there, we need to be the first, I guess. <laughs> I, I, are you scared you're going up against big plastic? No, uh, big plastic are actually those who are more, most interested in what we are doing. And those are the main companies that actually apply to us because they do see the opportunity and the uniqueness of it. So I'm not afraid. 